So I've got a tank of helium, and uh, which is six times lighter than the air that we breathe, and then I have a tank of a gas that is six times heavier than the air that we breathe, called sulfur hexafluoride. <laughs> Sounds dangerous, but it's perfectly safe. It's non toxic. Yeah, the burning goes away after. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's, everything well, is if fine. If I recall from your new spot, the, da the only danger is doing it repeatedly so that you're you don't get enough oxygen. Exactly right. And so we should tell everybody who's listening to this that in this kind of controlled setting we're fine. I'm not advocating that people go out and suck helium and people go out and suck sulfur hexafluoride. You wouldn't be doing that anyway because well, it's just expensive, so expensive. Yeah. It's really, really well, expensive. How much does a container like this cost? Oh, it's a fairly small container, but this is probably 350 bucks. There you Extremely go. Extremely heavy. We'll be doing so, that at home. Yeah, probably not, but, <laughs> but at least you get to hear it. So the question was, how does sound travel through different mediums? We know how sound waves travel through the air, um, uh, and, and we kind of know the speed that they're traveling. I think about 320 meters per second. I think that's what it is. Uh, if we put it through helium, those sound waves can travel much faster, less dense, and so here, let's try this. So okay. we'll hook it up to the tank here like this. Just okay. turn the tail on the back of the vento. Hear the rustling? Yeah. All right, perfect. All right, so Scott, you get to be the person to do this. Okay. So you're going to hold this so that you can do it. All right, so here's what I want you to do. Um, push out all the air in your lungs and then breathe in. All right, here we go. All right, so nice, 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 nice. All right, so give us a little hello. Hello. How are you? See, good now to do you. your power. Oh, good to see you. Yeah, it's <laughs> perfect. Nice to meet you, Yeah, see, it's perfect. Yeah. So that's that's the thing that every kid has done, right? <laughs> and, and it's not that your vi vocal cords are vibrating faster, which was the myth. It's not that your vocal cords are, are going any faster. They vibrate the same. It's just that the sound travels faster through that. Six times lighter than the air we breathe. All right, so push all the air out, make your so, voice normal. So in about three or four breaths, I'm almost normal again. Yeah, absolutely. And it comes out, so that's why that's not bad. It comes yeah. out of your lungs. It yeah. wants to come out. Just open up. And all right, so this tank over here, you, it even sounds different when we fill it up. So here, listen to this. It sounds different. That sounds heavy. Sounds and if you like feel this, it, is, it feels heavy too. Just Let's rock see. this back and forth and feel it. Oh, man. So this it's is like a pool of heavier. water almost. Yeah. Like it's got water in it because it's got weight. And it's just gas. All right, so the same thing you're going to do, but uh, here's what I want you to do. I want you to exit, uh, uh, all your air goes out, okay. and then breathe in, and then I want you to do the intro to the podcast. Ready? Just tell our okay. tell our listeners at home uh, something of importance. Ready? All right, here we go. He's bringing in the air. There goes the sulfur hexafluoride. Right into his lungs. Hi, everyone. You downloaded Snacks for the Brain, episode 51. See, now you can do that with some sort of. Like, you're really doing that. You're not. There's no cool. tricks behind the scenes or yeah, audio. Post production. Is that? It's still in your lungs, isn't it? It's still in my lungs, but yeah. it's coming out because yeah. I'm breathing. Okay, now breathe in and now push it back out again. You're gonna have to do that a couple times because that so heavy there, gas. I'm, is almost there. I'm almost there. Yeah, one more. Okay. Okay. Ready? There it is. Hello, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Did I your back? Is that wild? Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. So, um, what a great way to be able to experiment with the different gases and, and yeah. to see that. But again, to bust the, bust the myth that's been perpetuated on the internet that helium makes your vocal cords vibrate faster. Not at all. It's really the that's density of the heard. air that it's going to. Has Myth Busters gotten a hold of this one? I, I think it's too simple for them. They need more of a challenge <laughs> along the way. They need, oh, they that's need something cool. else. Isn't that very cool? Don't have to do any post production on that. No. That's <laughs> a <laughs> good way. And I can do that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So that kind of gives you an idea of, uh, of the stuff that's sitting back here and kind of what we do back here.